There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, aboran, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. I'm going to start this video with covering a couple of important terms that we've covered the last couple of videos. That would be your isomer. So isomer is something that has the same chemical formula, but different structural formula. So for example, C2F3Cl, that's its chemical formula. And we'll find out that we can have different arrangements which gives a different structural formulas, even though the chemical formula stays the same. And that's an example of an isomer, right? So an isomer is something that has the same chemical formula, but different structural formula. Now your halo alkanes, these are your alkanes, which have either one or more hydrogen replaced. So one or more hydrogens replaced by Halo um, halogens, right? So halogens are your group seven. That would be your chlorine, fluorine, bromide, and iodine. So not bromide, bromine and iodine, iodine, iodine. Annoying. Uh, so we have that's what we have to talk about in this video. We have to talk about halo alkanes and CFCs and halons specifically. So we'll talk about CFCs, which are your chlorofluorocarbons and your halons which have bromine and fluorine in it and sometimes chlorine as well and what we're going to do is I'll talk about the one itself it's gather process and present information from secondary sources including simulations molecular model kits or pictorial representations to model isomers of halo alkanes and we're going to talk about in this video we're going to do the whole molecular model which is probably what you're going to do in your any school as well that's often quite easy to do you've got a you know you've got your model you can you can use different balls to represent different types of atoms and then you just rearrange in different ways to show that the same balls can be rearranged in different ways to make different isomers right, so we'll start with our cfc which in this case is this one here this is our cfc and the way we know that is this has no hydrogens and a cfc has no hydrogen in its structure and it only has fluorine and chlorine. In this case, three fluorine and three chlorine. Chlorine. Right? So if I grab these balls, I can show you. I'll just grab them randomly. So we've got, say, we put them that one there, that one there, and that one there. And then I just grab the chlorine. So these the yellow ones are fluorine, and the green ones are chlorine. All right, so now I'm just I've made one structure of this chemical formula, C2F3Cl. But if I wanted to, I could rearrange it, right? I could do it a different way as well. So for example, I could take put this one somewhere else, swap this one for this one, and this one for this one. And now I start the same chemical formula, but a different structural formula, which means it's an isomer, right? And if I wanted to do it again, I could just have another swap. Maybe I put this one to the other side and this one to this side. And again, same chemical formula, different structural formula. And you'll probably play around with that in your, in your school, and you're just going to have some, some fun making different types of isomers. And the other example would be your halons, which would be an example of C2F3Cl bromine to Br2. That's your halon. Again, that's your chemical formula, and then we can rearrange those in any way we want in this case. Let's say we have three fluorines, which we first will put them all next to each other. But remember, if we change it, it's going to have a different structural name. So we have to actually have it. It'll have the same chemical formula, but a different structural name if we change the sequence of your halons. And we talk about the, the nomenclature, like how you name it. That's what you have to consider, what position they are in, and et cetera, et cetera. So this is, for example, one structure of a halon with this chemical formula. So if we wanted to, again, we could swap things around. We could grab this one and this fluorine swap it with the chlorine. So we haven't changed the chemical formula, it's the same chemical formula, but it is a different structural formula. So this is an example of an isomer. And I could do that again, I could change this one around with this one. And this actually will give them slightly different properties. So that even though they have the same chemical formula, it's actually important where these different halons are positioned, because where they are positioned will change the properties slightly. So there will be slightly different types of compounds. Again, different, so same chemical formula, different structural formula. So this is an example of an isomer. 
So this is what you should take out of this video. It should, you obviously, you need to know what an isomer is. You might be asked in the HC exam question, you might be asked to, you look, might be given a couple of different types of isomers, and you might be asked to either name them or rearrange them somehow. Right? So that's what you need to know about isomers. You should also know what an haloalkane is, and that's something that has one or more hydrogens replaced with different types of halogens, being chlorine, fluorine, bromine, and iodine. And you should obviously generally know about CFCs and halons, because those are the two examples of haloalkanes that you cover a lot in this section of your syllabus. But hopefully that was useful. Thank you for watching.